Uh, I can hear you. You can't. Are you on mute, teacher? We don't hear you. Two, one, two, one, two. Oh, yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Good. Oh. Man, traffic was amazing. And yes, it was, was horrible. I yes. have to to take a alternate route to to get to get home because in yeah. and then coming from another class I was like there was a car crash. There was a crash on Redondel um, on the runabout of uh, this guy that we saw. Mm. That was on runabout. There was a truck and a crash, but we made it. Two minutes late, but we made it. How long? Let's see, yeah, two minutes. Whew. I'm glad we made it. Okay. Let's report this. Okay, so how are you guys? How's your day going? How's everything going? Everything okay, teacher. Awesome. Okay. We are 13. Okay, so how was your weekend? Señores, estamos en intermedio cuatro. No puede ser que se lo hubiera estado hablando. Oh, my. I'm sorry, teacher. My weekend was great, but I'm still working. You're working. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. What about the rest? Okay. Everybody, turn on your camera, please. We already started the class. Come on. Teacher, I'm working. Okay. Right now. Perfect. Let me know if you're working. Let me know. Thank you. I know it's the end of the year, guys. I know things are very complicated right now. But remember, this module finishes on December 17th, right? Okay. And please make sure you put all your name on the, on the platform, please. Okay. Let me do the attendance so we can start with the class. Let's check this real quick. Where are we? Okay, so I have with me Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Not here yet. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Carolina Ibel Romero Bellino. Present, good evening. Good evening, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher, I'm here. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero Rivas, I ya sé que estás trabajando. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Awesome. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Okay. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Excelente. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. 
Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Okay. Good guys. So tell me, how's everything doing? How are you doing? How was the weekend? Terrible for me because I worked during the weekend. How do you on Sunday? The whole day. How many hours do you work? Um, Saturday night hour because it's my short day. And on Sunday, I work from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it was back to back. Oh, there was God. LOA available. Do you know what is LOA? Early what? out. Yes, but I couldn't take because not for closer. I, I was one closer on Sunday. So I guess that just maybe five people were working from five to six, seven. I was back to back. Oh my God, that sucks. That really sucks. But anyway, I, but was I back, couldn't do it. I was back to back today. I started, I was late today. My car was too cold my car was too cold to start so the thing is that i arrived home and as soon as i arrived i started getting cold 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 but of course because of the black friday you know i mean thanksgiving th thursday dead friday dead saturday it was dead but sunday they said it was hell today it was hell you know a lot of cold and i got new tires Woo! So now I got four tires on my car and now it's not making any noise. I was like, oh my God, before it was like Carreta Chillona and now no noise. I'm like, wow, that was amazing. It's that is a good feeling. <laughs> yes, you have no idea how happy I am because it's less stress in my life <laughs> when I'm driving on the <laughs> This is amazing. It's like a new car. It's really good. So that was good news for me. What about you? Tell me. Juri, what happened to you? Yeah, today. I mean, during the week. During uh, the no, today I, 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 for example, I, I have a, I had an interesting conversation with a support from Norton Antivirus because I they get, they have a good price today because it's Cyber Monday. And, and at the first time I call to, I grow, I grow with a support to get that price, but, but because I have a, another subscription, I can't take it. And I don't know why Norton do that because when you are con you are a recurring user, they don't have the best price for you. And and I I work with that support and they give me a, a bet price, a bet price. And at the end, they give me two GR for for um, for the for that that subscription. But but at the end, I. I call at support and um, uh, uh, for because they have I don't know why but they need to to create they create a pro, uh, 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 the uh, the process for one one step and you need to call at the support for change something in the in the program and I call uh, 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 that. Uh, that support and they i i was talking with with that girl almost three three minutes it was interesting because and i tried to tell to tell her try to speak slow please but she can't but it was interesting for me hey good so you did all the conversation in english just just saying english uh, i didn't know what it in the way to say a robot in english because Arroba. Uh, arroba in English because how when do, I how do you say how do you say arroba guys? At at at, at. at. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, you know I, I don't know why. I don't know why so many uh, uh, foreigners have a problem with that sign. Hindu, you know, people from India, Hindus, they have a problem. They say, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. They do like a tongue twister when they say the at sign. It's really weird. And that's because they, they try to call it Aruba, Arroba, you know, that's like everybody knows it. That is at. And how do you say punto when talking about an email? Dot. 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 Mm. How do you say guion? Slash. No. Mm. Close. Close. Dash. Hyphen. Dash. No. Hyphen. Dash, no. Good, Andres. Mm -hmm. You say hyphen or dash. Okay. How about pleca? And, uh, that's maybe slash. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's slash, but you have Andres forward slash, forward slash, and you have backward slash, forward, backward. The backwards is not that used, but forward slash is the common one, the common. Okay, that's it. Good job. Okay, what else? That's it. And you don't say tri triple W, you say www.hotmail.com. It's, it's necessary to know those sounds. Yeah, that's very important. That's the the click on the uh, slash forward slash three forward slash. Uh, moving on with this thing, uh, the period. Okay, for a letter you call it period. When you're dictating, for example, when you're reading a book and you're dictating. The A uh, represents the letter, okay? As a number, when you're reading un numero entero, okay, a big number, you say point. So 1,000.10, okay? And we said dot for emails, okay? For emails, you say dot or that, actually, that. And there's still one more. Oh, listen to this. When you talk about currency, you know what is currency, right? Yes. When you talk about currency, whether it is dollar, euro, Canadian dollars, the dot means or equals the word end. Let's see, intermediate four. I like to play this with my students from basic classes. Um, can somebody read that number? Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I don't know why you have problems with this. <laughs> 156 million. Johnny, good. Yeah. Again, Johnny, yeah. Johnny, go. 100, Johnny. 156 million. thousand. A hundred cent and one. Okay, and there and there you say dollars and one cent. So again, good job, Johnny. One applause for Johnny. Good. You do like in Spanish, ciento cincuenta y seis, right? One hundred fifty-six million. 546,870 dollars and one cent. So it's the opposite. Era lo opuesto, lo que les puse igual. It's currency plus n. If there are decimals, if there are decimals, you say dollars or euros and cents. Got it? Now, if there is no 
there is no currency, William, if there is no currency, how do you do it? How do you do it? Hmm. Come on, it's the same thing. Irene, someone, Sandra? Come on, Irene. Seven, seven hundred eighty eighty nine million five hundred fifteen thousand ten point thirty. You got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on a puzzle. Great job. That's the way you do it. So if there's no currency, you just say point thirty. If there is currency, then you say dollars, euros, Canadian dollars. I don't know what's in Russia. Russia pounds. Remember pounds and the cents. Got it? <laughs> okay, just to cheer you up, to get you excited, let's play a game. Okay. We only have five minutes for this activity before we start the topic tonight. And I know that Heidi is going to love this topic. So Let's play together in groups. For example, um, let's see, Jocelyn. Tell me. How much is 15 times 10? I forgot the question. How much is 15 times 10? No, teacher, I'm not good for mathematics. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. 150. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Heidi, 150. So times. Okay, Heidi, 150 minus, yeah. minus 45. 105. Okay. Divided by. Four. One hundred five divided by four. Twenty six point twenty five. Hey, good. That's right. Yeah, twenty six point twenty five, right, Luis? <laughs> Luis is like mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, this is something that you use every day, okay? How do you say mass? Plus. Plus. Excellent. Now, I want you to play with your classmates, okay? Just make it fun, have fun, just make up the numbers. Irwin, wake up. Yes, <laughs> okay. yes. Okay, Irwin, how yes. much is three times seven? How much is three times seven? Many. Many teacher. What? Many, Come on. Many. Three, Three times seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. Divided by three. Seven. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Plus five. Eleven. Eleven. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah, right? No. Yes. Oh, no, no. Seven plus five. Well, 12, 12, 12. So only teach you. Okay. Now. My mind is not my mind is not the planet. Okay. Sorry, but okay. I am here. I am here. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> now you can also say what's the square root if you want. But let's keep it simple. Plus times divided by minus. You have four different math operations that you can do. Use small numbers. Don't go crazy. How much is a thousand, fifty? No, no, no. Easy, easy, okay. <laughs> Don't be cruel. Okay. So challenge your classmates to just make small operations, okay? Let's go. Just five minutes. Come on, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we are going to say mathematical operation. Start with Sandra. Sandra. Fifteen times. Fifteen times. I don't. Uh, divide, divide, five. Fifteen times three. Repeat, please. Fifteen. Fifteen mm -hmm. times three. Times as is five. No. <laughs> no. Again. Six, sixteen no. times uh -huh. three. Ah, what is so five? Ah, fifteen is the um sixteen. Sixteen. Fifteen times three. Times times three. Times times three are five. Are you saying 16 or 15? 16, 16. Wait, 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Johnny, 15. Fix. Yeah, 15. 15. Johnny, Johnny, 15. 15. 15. Fifteen. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah, that's right. Okay, keep keep going, keep going. Uh huh. Johnny, the next. Okay. How many? Well, one hundred plus two hundred sixty-nine. One hundred sixty-nine. Okay. Okay, like continue. Use... Minus, plus. Um, for example, 329 minus 50. Minus 50? 50. Mm -hmm. okay. How many? 329 minus 50. I already got it. 379. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. 200. Plus 200? No. The, I, I don't remember what I say. <laughs> you said 429 minus 50 um, equals, that equals 379, right? Okay. Okay. Continue. Minus, plus, Divided by sixteen divided by no no, no four. continue. You have three seventy nine. Ah, and the same quantity. Yeah, continue the operation. Okay. It's a challenge for your classmate to go adding or resting, you know. Ah, okay. Subtracting, I'm sorry, subtracting. Okay, keep going. Okay, teacher. 379. <laughs> the university, I, I have to, to take four mathematics and three physics. So, well, it's hard for me. <laughs> and 100 less 40? 60. Two times sixty. One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty divided by six. By six. Two. Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
They got in a stop. Teacher is here. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, girls. Give me an example of what they're doing. Okay. Mm, for example, how much is uh, three times 25? Three times 25. 75. Yes. Uh, divided by three. <laughs> 25. <laughs> uh, plus 50. Are you kidding me? 75. 40? Plus 60. Did you say you mentioned 50. 50. Oh, plus 50. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Oh 75. That's 75, okay. Good. Um, Plus four. Uh-huh. Uh, minus minus uh 43. Minus. Very two. 32. Okay, that's a good exercise to start up your brain. Okay, let's go back. Okay, uh, well, let's wait for the others. Hello, Adita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Me ha costado conectar. I know. Sí, sí, ha subido. Lo siento que no haya hecho su mensaje hasta ahorita. Lo voy viendo. Pero ya estuvo. Gracias. Yeah, thank God you're here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, Fernando. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Eh, aclarando, señores, esto fue un warm up. Un warm up es para activarte el cerebro, que okay, algo que te ayuda a pensar rápido. Sí, y la verdad es que es algo que no habíamos hecho, hablar de números. Hmm. Ok. No, okay. ok, es algo muy importante estar practicando esto. No es que no tenga contenido educativo esto, no es que esté fuera del libro. It is very important for you to practice. Ok, so moving on with your class, with your uh, book. Where were we? Can somebody tell me where were we? The 3PL. The 3PL, which stands for... The, the process to pick. Uh, 3PL. What is 3PL? Yeah, Are you saying 3PL or 3PO? <laughs> 3, 3PL. I <laughs> know yeah. oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's the other thing. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Third party logistics, right? Third party logistics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we were getting to know some vocabulary related to third party logistics. We talked about transportation, private, fleet management, freight claim insurance, which we were clarifying that's just the insurance for the transportation, just like cargo insurance and small package services, which is the most common, right? When you use UPS, DHL, Federal Express, etc. Okay. And I think that that was it. Now today on our topic, we have to sketch the basic plan to select a third party logistics service. And yep, 
we have addressed this conversation, right? We read the previous one, which held the same, the same um, drawing. I remember. We did this one. Okay. Yep. About the batteries. Remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So today we were talking about how do you pick the uh, the right third party logistics provider for your business. Is price the most price the most important criteria to decide on the right third party logistic? What was the conclusion of these questions? Do you remember? Okay, can somebody tell me what was the conclusion of the two questions? Give me one second. Uh huh. Was price important to select a third party logistics provider? Hello. I didn't remember well, but the price is, a, is an, an important factor, but. Uh, also, you have to you have to consider the the quality of the service, not only the price, but the price is it is important. But is it secondary? Mm, it's secondary, right? It's important. I think it is important. I mean, when you buy something, Fernando. What is the first thing that you that you check upon? Uh, I I see the price, but I first I I can I can try the product and maybe it is for example it is a, a, a earphones or headphones. I want to to listen how how sounds. Because how, how I, I want sound, quality. Yes. Yeah, yes, I want quality, not only cheap, cheaper price. Mm -hmm. And with all the products uh, that I buy, I, 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 how do you say, book car search? No. Search. I look for. I look for the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you can try the product, it's great, but. Yes, but... That, that is that is because uh, sometimes I, I don't buy something because I I want to try before because I I I I, I like to to be uh, sure about the product that I, I want to buy. You don't let yourself go by the price. Yes, yeah, so sometimes I I read some reviews, the commentaries on the on the product. Really I free. I see. Uh, YouTube videos about some YouTuber that uh, maybe uh, it, he made he made a, a, a review about the product. But then it's not a YouTuber. How do you call someone promoting a brand? It's a influencer. Influencer, good ways. Yeah, that's an influencer. influencer. I think that's where the name comes from, of an influencer, because he influence influences influences people to buy that product or not to buy it, right? I got your point. Okay, you know, I just did the same. I wanted to buy the tires, but I usually buy uh, Tornel, that's the brand, because some friends of mine have uh, a business where they sell tires. That's the family business, but um, they, I, I, I heard about this offer where you can pay with 12 uh, monthly payments with Banco Scotland and with Unillantas. <laughs> this is an influencer. <laughs> I just became an influencer. Yeah, you can go to Unillantas and they have the 12 month deal with Banco Scotland. So from 99, they said $99 per, per tire. And I was like, eh, okay. Per, per tire. They had, mm -hmm. well, no, wait, wait, wait. It's a hundred, a hundred twenty-six, a hundred dollars twenty-six cents per tire. Per. per tire. So they had a 50% discount. 
right? It's a, a good quality tire. And those were Dunlop. Uh, Dunlop. Yeah. Yes, yes, Dunlop is a good, a good yeah. brand. So I got the four tires. They installed the tires and they aligned, they aligned the vehicle and they balanced, yes. they balanced, and yes. they balanced the tires. So that was a good deal. It was a good deal. Uh, but I didn't let go by the price. What I want to tell you is that I went to, on YouTube, Fernando, and I looked for recommendations of YouTubers because they were offering me Otsu, Otsu, Otsu. tires, which is a Japanese tire as well. Mm. It's like it's like Dunlop Otsu. Mm. It's very similar. But I mean, Dunlop is more a more recognized brand. Yes. Right. So sometimes you go by the brand, sometimes you go by the price. But what happens if you hear, oh, it's a Chinese product? Luis? Thank you for Luis? Hello. What what do you what do you do when you hear, oh, that's a Chinese product? Um normally I try to make a research in the internet and watch about the reviews. Mm -hmm. Oh, or maybe ask to my friends or relatives if they are use it, that brand. If, you have, if they have used? Uh, used they that have brand. Used they brand. have used that brand and take my decision about to try a new brand. Normally you can uh, try it and have a better idea a discount for example oh. than other brands you do your research right you go around look for other prices great job Liz. yeah hey i have a question for men yep. i have a question for men and women women will agree on this why is it so difficult for us for men to make a decision when we buy something i mean <laughs> You have to think about it a lot. I mean, for women, it's like, okay, I like it, I buy it. And that's it, right? But for us, it's so difficult. I mean, we don't trust right away. That's difficult for us. Okay, so what happens when you want to select someone that will transport your products? Think about this as a company. They want to transport maybe your raw material, maybe your product itself, okay? Someone who wants to control the logistics of your distribution channel. What do you do? You go just by the price. What do you think is the most important thing when you select a provider? The, the reputation of the... <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I was about to say Ricardo Jona said that in the song. <laughs> yeah. The reputation. Reputation is like, yeah, the fame, you know, how famous is, is a provider, right? It's very important. Can you find that on the internet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right? Will you trust? Okay, what if I told you that I have a transporter, um, you know, a shipper, a shipper who has been on the business for 20 years, okay? They have been on the business of logistics for 20 years. And you find on the internet, a very famous company. Which one would you choose? Well, with a website or just this old dude, you know, with a lot of experience. I, I didn't understand. You didn't get we it. We have okay. two companies. We have, we we have, have two, two companies. companies. Yeah. You one have this with... company, uh -huh. Don Juan, Don Juan 
with yes. 20 years, 20 years okay. of experience. Of experience, okay. Experience, right. And you have this big company, you have MERS Sealand. You have MERS Sealand for logistics control. They have a website, you know, their story of the company. They have been on the business for many years and they have all the trucks for all kinds of products. What would you do? What would you consider? Because that's the question. How do you pick the right third party logistics provider for your business? What do you consider? I mean, it's just the price or, I don't know, you tell me. You got the idea? Mm -hmm. Okay. What can they offer you, each one, you know? What, what makes the difference when you're selecting a provider? I know it sounds boring, but it is a very interesting topic. So let's go ahead and start the topic for tonight so we can get together and discuss this topic. Remember guys, this class is for you to speak. Don't stay quiet, okay? Let's go. Who oh, Luis is, is in the start. Yes. Oh. You oh, really. He can teach us. Yes, that's right. He is going to, we are going to follow the, <laughs> your, <laughs> your experience. Okay, Luis. Uh, uh, no, not really. You said you you your, <laughs> you <send> your <laughs> experience. Tell us <laughs> what do you, what do you do? Um, to select yeah. uh, or choose a, an, a company? Uh, it depends. I think that the, the fear thing you have to consider about is uh, and know the capabilities of the supplier. If they have a, a good team, good trucks, um, if they can react to the emergencies, um, if they, if, for example, when we um, choose a, a supplier for transport, we think about uh, if she, um, they have the permissions to move the, the around the, the, or through Central America, and go to Mexico because you have to know about the permissions and, and the, the, the shifting of tracking of the supplier, if they have a GPS or just have a, a, a old trucks and they are calling every two hours, I, I don't know. And something like that. It's very important about the. It's not a good idea. But I don't know what you think. The provide uh, to find the provider is so important for companies because all the provide have to have the standard, the performance, the high performance standard for the company. Yeah, the experience. The time in the in the business, the guarantee for to for to do the, the, the product, the the person that that speak with you, uh, I think uh, Dubai. Many companies have to, to think about this because the provide will be the most important in the company. Yes. Yeah, you're and, right. And, and the company have to help, have to help them, uh, a polite how to get the provide. Because maybe one person is the staff 
select one product because only is a friend. This is a good problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that um, the the pro the provider have to give some warranties uh, to you. Not not only that your product is safe because your product has to arrive on time uh, to your, I, I don't know, your, your retailers, your uh, uh, DC or your warehouse or, or whatever. Yes. I think that the companies must have policies of choosing supplies that provide, yeah? Policies are so important in the company. And it's because so important. We, think, we, we can think many, many things how to, to get one provide, but we have a uh, life in the, in the company. Yeah, for, for example, um, my company, uh, we have to send the product and we have, we have a, a date, uh, a deadline to provide or uh, to give the, the product to, for example, Walmart. And we have to, uh, to be on time, yeah. Yeah, uh, what, ha what happened is, uh, for example, the container have uh, many problems and we um, are exposed to uh, several, uh, how do you say uh, demands? 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 Yeah, demands. Uh, if we um, can... Oh, uh, give the say, product I'm on sorry, time. You say legal sue. Yeah, legal yeah. what? Sue. How do you write that? It's like the name. This is plural. Legal sue. Um. But you can also say you can expose yourself to fines. Okay. Fines are um uh, uh, how do you call this in Spanish? Uh, uh, penalidades, um, guy, <clears throat> penalties. Um, how do you call this in Spanish? Oh my God! God the name. Multas. Uh huh. That's right. You can get a fine. Yep, a fine, multa, exactly. Or you can say legal, um, legal suit. Legal source. Is it the same? Yep. Demanda legal. It's different. It's different, but one is demanda legal and the other one is. Multa. Multa. Thank you. Yeah. Multa, yeah. And you can, in the States, when you're speeding, when you're speeding, you can get a ticket. That's different. That is different. Okay, keep going. Okay. So, um, thing, thing on that. Uh, uh, the containers are not property of the of the company, so we can get a fine uh, if you, uh, if, for example, if the container have a, any problem in the in the road. So it's not a problem of the company, but you provide it have to uh, uh, give a warranty that they can uh, complain the, uh, how do you say it? They can, comply, they can comply with the delivery time frame. Deli delivery time. Time frame. They can comply with the time frame. They can comply with the delivery time frame. Okay. Time frame. Okay. So I don't know what do you think, Irene? Okay, talking about the question, how do you pick the right TPL for your business? I think depend on the kind of the product because if they um, 
perishable products or another products, right? And the companies need to know if the provider are an excellent company, for example, give excellent quality and have an excellent services and time frames, okay? In this way, the companies ha must to must to be com confidence, confiados. How can I say confiados, teacher? Wait, confiados de que ellos son confiados, se confían. Ellos oh. tienen que tener la confianza en el proveedor, la company. Oh, oh okay. Uh, they need to have the confidence. Or no, the provider needs to trust them. They, trust have, them. they okay. have to be a trusted company. Trust. Yes. Yes, because the companies need to, to know that their products going to be in the in the time in the in the time in the better time, right? And Talking about the next question is probably the most. Um, uh, that, that driver is uh, using a different type of merchandise uh, or uh, is a counter in is a in the the custom employee. Is a people that have uh, the experience and they pick up uh, some products and they uh, say if the quality is the, the correct or, or, or no. Teacher, we have a question about a phrase. How do you say lo barato sale caro? Is translated in. That's cheap. The same way. Cheap turns out expensive. Cheap turns out expensive. Turns out. Turns Is out. Okay. Turn out. Cheap. Turn out. Turn, yeah, turn out. out. Turn out. Cheap turn out expensive. Turns out. Turn turn out. Turns turn out. Turn out. out. Expensive. Es tercera persona, entonces tenemos que modificar el verbo. Cheap turns out expensive. Okay. In, for answer that the question, in, I talked with my classmate that in our, our company, uh, sometimes we uh, we look out for quality, uh, but depends if our UPS or our uh, equipment, what kind of equipment have the problem because we usually uh, uh, look out to the provider, the spare parts. And we, we are looking for quality and in time because we sometimes we need the spare part as soon as possible. For a company, it's not necessary that merchandise is, is cheaper because our equipment are so expensive. Also, oh, eh. And your company is a the logistic or co-storm? Co uh, it's an outsource because we work uh, for the government. Okay. Oh, it's outsourced. Yeah. Repeat, okay. it's outsourced. Outsourced. It's outsourced. Is yeah. incorrect, uh, say, say uh, outsourcing? Uh, no, in this context, it is an outsourced uh, company. Okay. Yeah. It's different, Sandra, if you say 
we uh -huh. are we are on the outsourcing business we are in the outsourcing business okay thanks then ala said uh, they look for safe safety huh <laughs> Is, is is more important <laughs> benefit for the people, no? Is the the is uh, healthy? Is a uh, is a uh, very important. The 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 no no depend the price. Okay, I just sent you some images. Uh, bueno, voy a hacer un super rápido esto. Les he enviado unas imágenes para que ustedes puedan um, modificar cuando estén viendo videos. Puedan, ¿quién no lo sepa hacer? Uh, ¿Cómo paso a paso activar los subtítulos, cambiarles la fuente? Tiene que ser, ser in, um, títulos en inglés, generados automáticamente. Y ahí en opciones les va a aparecer eh, la opción para el tamaño de fuente, para que puedan ver más grandes las letras, el color en el que las tienen los subtítulos. Ok, ya vamos a utilizar eso un momento. So, let's continue. Um, Bien, ya estamos todos de regreso. A ver, chicos, en un recordatorio que lo dije al principio de la clase porque aquí um, ya llevan cuatro meses conmigo. Es el cuarto mes que estoy con ustedes, el cuarto módulo. Y en buena onda, o sea, ustedes yo creo que ya me conocieron, yo no soy bravo. No. Tampoco me gusta, como decimos los salvadoreños, clavarme con situaciones, pero sí es necesario tocar este tema. Todos somos adultos, nos hemos metido en esto juntos. Eh, ya estamos en un nivel bien avanzado, bien avanzado del programa. Solo les quedarían ocho meses, prácticamente ocho módulos para terminar el curso. Entonces, eh, si aún te da pena a estas alturas, hay que trabajar eso. ¿Cómo trabajo yo la pena de hablar en el grupo pequeño o acá en el grupo principal? Hablando. Dice Will Smith. Sí, Will Smith. Que solo toma un pasito nada más. Él se iba a tirar de un avión. No sé si han visto esa anécdota de él. Cómo venció el miedo de tirarse en paracaídas, con paracaídas. Y de hecho ni siquiera se tiró él, sino que lo llevaban agarrado. Pero tenía un pavor de tirarse. Dice que solo le tomó un paso. Y que después de caer al, al suelo ya con el paracaídas todo a salvo, pensó que tonto fui. Realmente, o sea, me, me llevó tanto tiempo aterrizar que... Alcanzar lo que quería me iba, tener, me iba a tomar solo un paso. Entonces, solo dar el primer paso es lo que te cuesta. Ya después, después la vida te enseña, digo, lo que quieras. ¿Sí? De caerte te va a ayudar a aprender. Es lo mismo en este caso. Si no te caes, no vas a caminar. Si no caminas, no vas a correr. Right? So, lo mismo. Te invito a que hables. Ya, soltate. Nadie. Nadie es mejor que vos. Te lo dije el primer módulo desde que estoy con ustedes. En los segundos se los repetí. Busquen en YouTube. Es posible lo imposible. Mar Villalobos. Lamentablemente yo no me puedo detener mucho a hablar de motivación. Créanme que desearía pasar una hora dándoles una charla motivacional. Lo he hecho en, en persona. 
no sé si se los dije, he estado dos veces dando conferencias, no, tres veces, charlas eh, motivacionales, dando una conferencia sobre eso, en Construmar, que de fe y alegría, o sea, estaba con jóvenes en riesgo, motivar a un joven en riesgo, si saben qué es eso, eh, es, es muy difícil. Alguien que ya perdió la esperanza de vivir y, y hacerle ver que realmente se puede, o sea, motivar a una persona. Eh, se puede. Entonces, ánimo, ¿eh? Ánimo, esto, esto apenas vamos a la mitad. ¿Sí? No estás acá para... <risa> es incómodo. Hasta para mí. So... <risa> ok. Let's help each other at this point, ¿ok? Sé que los temas están un poco complejos, pero si tú hablas, yo los noté a todos ahorita en los grupos que se han enamorado del tema, o sea, no tampoco es que árbaro, pero muchos compañeros saben de logística. Tengo a José Alberto, tengo a Carolina, sé que Heidi maneja ese tema y todos son muy inteligentes. O sea, no es necesario tener un negocio para entender esto. Y te repito, los chinos prefieren a una persona con autoestima que una persona preparada. O sea, alguien con autoestima te va a manejar cualquier tema y va a ser capaz de, con soltura, hablar del tema. Que alguien preparado, que ha estudiado mucho para eso, pero nunca ha enfrentado la realidad, que es ya, ocupar las cosas. O experiencia va, pesa mucho más, ¿verdad, Alberto? Josué. Tener experiencia. Yeah, that's true. Mucho puedes haber estudiado, pero si no, si no te caes. Ay, Dios. Es triste ver un ingeniero dando vía a la par de un técnico y el técnico enseñándole al ingeniero cómo se hace las cosas. ¿Sí o no? So, same thing, guys. You can do it. Yo sí creo en ustedes. Do you believe in yourself? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Good. So let's keep going. Um, before we go with the video and, and the idea generation, because we're going to get a lot of vocabulary, we're going to do an exposition tonight. We're going to work together. But first, let me do the attendance one more time. It's 9.06 p.m. already. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Lost it. There we are. Okay. Thank you. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heide Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuella Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Excelente. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana well. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero Present Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte Present teacher. Hey, welcome William Alexander Ramírez Flores Present Juleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Ok. Ok, let's keep going. So, for our next number, for our next act, we have a conversation between two... Bob, Daisy, Bob, Daisy. Ok, yeah, two people. Sometimes they add three. So let me read this for you slowly, and then I will choose two of you to practice reading, and then we will practice together just for a short period of time because we have to make a presentation together, okay? There's no more room in our house for more 
of your organic soap. Soap. It's not soup. Soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. This service could help you out, help you out with the storage. I don't think so. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us, help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the package. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, Johnny, uh, we're listening to your phone every time it rings. Outsource, outsource, and really listen, outsource. <laughs> I'm reading your paper. I'm sorry, it says outsource <laughs> on the back. Did you need me to repeat the word? Outsource. <laughs> Peter, can I make you a question? Yeah, please. How uh, do you know if the platform was fixed? Mm, fixed on Seems the like question. I I haven't been told anything, you know. Being honest with you, I haven't been told anything. I reported it quite so let's just wait. But don't worry, that number is gonna be repaired. That that answer is gonna be fixed very soon this week okay. this week we have the midterm now that you mentioned yeah i'll check that tonight thank you haiti let me okay. let me park it i'm gonna park your request because it's important for me to i'll check every answer on your platform tonight to make sure that there are no errors for you okay Taking a note for tonight. Okay. Let me see Sandra. Let's go with Sandra and Wendy. Okay, teacher. One, two, three, go. Sandra, you are both in or they? Yeah. Daisy. Okay. okay. There is there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it's time to take business business out of the house? Of the house, I found something called third party logistic on Google. The service could help you out with the storage i don't think so bob as far as know the business is not big enough to hire a third party service the best of my knowledge knowledge sorry <laughs> the soap is selling like crazy and i believe it Call help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packing choose a couple of two companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Hey, good job. Okay, <coughs> what do you, mean? you say soup. 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 Yeah, this is not soup. So, so you used to take a shower, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 you rub so. your mind. Repeat. Out of, out of, out of, 
out of the house. Out of, out of the house. Out of. Out of the house. Okay. So don't, don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? Out of the house, out of the house. Okay. Next, storage. 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 Better? Storage. Uh, storage. It's sto storage. Mm. Storage. <laughs> storage. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Next, Daisy. Higher. 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 Perfect. Higher. And Wendy, to the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge. To the best, to the best of. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Yeah. To the best oh. of my knowledge. Perfect. Knowledge. Perfect, you got it, got it. Next, Daisy, actually, actually. Actually. Better, packaging. Packaging. Perfect, packaging, packaging. Packaging, packaging. Got it, we got it, okay. Let's practice together just for a few minutes and then we come back so we can do an activity. Uh, we can do a presentation together as a group, teamwork. Okie dokie. Okay, the try. teacher said, teacher that shared that. I did. I did. It's on your WhatsApp already. Right? Which page is it? Oh, sorry. It's uh, page 21. Page 21. 21. Thank you. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Carolina, do you have the book? Printing. Yeah, me too. So uh, maybe we can start. Maybe you could be Bob and I will be Daisy. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic stuff. Don't you think it's time to take business out, out of the house? I found, I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I'll be out. I don't I'll think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the saw is selling like crazy and I believe I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging to a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, we can switch. Now I am Bob and you are Daisy, right? Okay. Uh, there is a number of room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party, log party mm -hmm. service. To the best. Higher. Of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, the couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay. Okay. Organize. 
William. Mm -hmm. We oh. René. Right. Ah. René and the ball. Okay, yeah, Roberto Luis. Tampoco, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, William. So, by myself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, William um, Alexander. Yes, I am William and Alexander. Mm -hmm. William. Come on. Okay, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic sub. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. What is next? Soap. 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 Fernando is next. Okay, okay. okay. Who with me? <laughs> You are Daisy. You're Daisy. Okay. You are Margarita. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's wow. the name. Daisy Margarita. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Margarita. that's the meaning. That's the meaning in Spanish. Ah, yeah, okay. Really. <laughs> and, I, and, I okay. Met, and I met a girl whose name was Daisy Margarita. Bro. Oh. <laughs> My God. Okay. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Great job. Okay. <clears throat> there, there is no more room in our house for... Wait, 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 wait. Personal pictures, Navidad 2020. Videos by the video. Okay. okay. Who's big? Who's screen is this? I, I, Irene, I read the document of personal. Oh my God. I don't know what happened with that. Okay. <laughs> the, idea, the idea is to share the, the, the conversation, but cuando, I don't know. Si, cuando happened. usted le da uh, compartir o share, tiene que seleccionar ya sea full screen, pantalla completa, O solo busca la imagen de, de libro, si lo tiene abierto en PDF. Okay. Let's try. Right. Okay. okay, okay, okay. There you go, like that. Very good. Okay. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business? Otro, el, el jabón. Soap. Ah, pero viene dicho para que no. So, hit, hit the plate, hit the, hit the, uh, the, the little speaker, hit the little speaker. Yep. The soap, like soap. Soap. Yeah. Este es jabón. Yeah, soap. Quiero, quiero la otra. Oh, soap. Mm -hmm. Is a U instead of the A. There you go. Y este, y este como se Soup. Soup. Ah, Soup. Okay. Soup. Now I get it. Soup and sop. Mm -hmm. So, sop. So. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we finish, teacher, the old yes. practice. Okay. Yes. Let's go.
Okay, so I think we're ready for the next um, act. I'm just waiting on your classmates. I'm sorry, son. Okay, for our next act, I prepared this video for you. It's very interesting. There is a guy talking about the six key elements, six key elements that you need to study in order to select the right third party logistics provider for your company. I think it's very interesting. And again, I invite you to participate, find new vocabulary, find new vocabulary, okay, with the meaning. Try to find the meaning of the new vocabularies because at the end, we won't have too much time. But right now, I will split you in three groups, just three groups, and we are, we're 19, so it's gonna be a big group, okay? But I want you to prepare something short, just two minutes, you know, for you to talk about the video, the, the two elements. So I'll be, uh, since there are six key elements that he mentions, you can skip forward. Do you understand what is to skip forward? Move forward. Can somebody translate for me? Move forward. Yeah, but on the video, move forward. Move. Yeah. On the video, you can add an guitar on the video. Okay, so you can. Sister más salvadoreño que yo está hablando. Okay, good. Tag and demo. El punto es ustedes tendrán dos puntos con cada grupo. Pueden adelantar hasta esos dos puntos, entenderlos y explicarlos, o vean el video. Pero van a tener exactamente 15 minutos para prepararse como equipo, equipo, y luego hacer una presentación de dos minutos. Easy, but find new vocabulary. Por eso les envié cómo modificar los closed captions en los videos para que puedan utilizarlo. ¿Ok? Got it? That is very interesting. Yeah. Great idea. I love this video. It's really good. So let me make three groups. There we go. Okay. Uh, let me see if this is fair and all. Yeah. Pretty much. Let me see. Yeah, this is fair enough. Okay, let's go. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Ya les asigno el tema cada uno, okay? Los dos primeros temas. <laughs> ok, chicos, rápido, tienen los primeros dos temas, ok, los primeros dos key elements, the first two key elements on the video are yours, got it? Got it. Yeah. Ok, first two key elements on the video, go ahead. Uy, eh, no, no podemos compartir el video. Eh, ah, ok, sorry. Sorry. Don't worry. Okay. Bueno, ustedes tienen en los... Uh, son seis eh, elementos clave para el equipo proveedor. Entonces, les tocaron el tres y el cuatro, ¿ok? Los dos de medio. Okay. Okay. Three and four. Okay. You have... You have... Hello, talking about the devil, right? Hablando del diablo. Yeah. Talking about the devil. Hey, hey. And the devil one is coming. <laughs> you have five and six. Okay. Six. We're the last. Yeah, you're the last. Until okay. tomorrow. Five and six. No, not today. <laughs> okay, you have 15 minutes to prepare. Cultural field. No, compartan el video, okay? Don't share the video. Okay. Just watch, okay. it, watch it together, okay? 
Okay. Five and six.
Hi, Tim. Hello. Is who just Hello. looked after Do you understand number two? Number two, yes. Más sencillo, ad hoc, hecho a la medida. Okay. Uh, yeah, number, number six, number two, okay. Solution fit is like ad hoc, hecho a la medida. Yo estaba preguntando un problema, ah, si una persona empresa tiene un problema, se adapta realmente a la necesidad de la empresa. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, we going to focus only on our our topics or going to develop all the all the video? No, no, no. Just your topics. Only two and three, okay? Uh, three, and three and four. Three and four. Three and four. Ah, three and four. Sorry. Yeah, three and four. Ah, okay. Um, okay. Information, yes, information I understand technology. Understand two and four. Yes, three and four. Number three is information and technology, and number four is cost, cost and resources. And resources. Cost, cost and resources. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sharing right now a presentation. And do you can see it? Erwin, and I am listening to you. Listen to you. Irwin, we're staying 10 minutes tonight, okay? Oops, to wait 10 minutes. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, okay. And um, um, information and technology, can you let me, what do you understand about? Well, we have pricing and cultural fit. It's a short video. We have to talking about the, the price and cultural fit. Yeah, pricing. Pricing. Yeah. That I remember from the video is we have to consider the the the, the how how the the company wants to receive the payment, uh, you have to consider the, the fixed and variable cost to, to, to hire a, a third party logistic uh, yeah. from, cultural, for, from cultural fit. Uh, you, you have to be sure that the, the company, the company that you want to, to hire, uh, the people, uh, how do you say, se, como que se identifique con las personas con las que vas a trabajar. You identify with them, but if 
if you are working well, you want to work in with work to look a good long relationship. I, I guess it's for, a cultural fit. Yes. Get familiar. Yes, yes, that is it. That is the word. Get familiar with because the the, com the the communication is very important, and you 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 is going to to talking. Wait, 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 wait. You you is going. No, sorry. You you are you going are. to you are going to communicate every day with these people. So. Mm. It was talking about trust. If you trust in that company, and you were will work very well. What happened, I born very quiet. Uh, Are you I okay? Just, yeah, I just thinking uh, about uh, the topic, a cultural, cultural fit and pricing. Uh, I don't know if we have to, um, to make a presentation, we have to write uh, all the things that we understand of the video or only we have to discuss about it? Just give a general idea for two minutes, what you understood. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a time I told you, I told you. <laughs> but, but we are the last group. Oh. <laughs> Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow can we that's make the that's presentation? That's a good point. That's what the Salvadorian crow said. It's a procrastinating. <laughs> yeah, that's procrastinating. It's true. That's procrastinating. It's not okay. It's not worry. procrastinating. We are working. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you are a witness. and what you are a witness. I'm a witness, yes. That you're working, yeah. We are working, so and I know you're very smart, so you can just go in front of everybody and just talk of what you understood. <laughs> okay, in fact, let's take it back. It's very late already. Okay. Let's take it back. Okay. So when for the others, let's see. Carolina, Andy, Johnny, Francisco, and Will. Okay, we're all back. Oh, okay. So let's get it done. Remember, just say what you understood about 
your part, I send you the exact second of the video where you had all the topics. So let's see, let's just quickly review that. So you have industry feed, solution feed, information technology, costs and resources, pricing and cultural fit. So let's go with the first two industry feed and solution feed brought to you by Ada, Carolina, Haiti, Johnny, Roberto, Sandra, and Winnie. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Start. Okay, teacher. <laughs> I um I got it about the uh, industry fit. Uh, you had to looking for a uh, company for create sourcing. Um, about the industry you had dedicated. You had to like find the the best uh, company for associate associating. That's I got it about uh, industry fit. That's what I got, and, Johnny. That's what I got. That I, I got. And about the solution fit uh, is the process. The process you had to uh, find the 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 best solution when present, for example, some problem in your industry. Your industry and, and for example the good industry fit i understand the first part is when the company company tries to find a help or agent it could be say they give advice uh, about logistics process um, and this company could be sure in all aspects about selection um, to help we help us the with the best advice um, considering times cost delivery um, and the other, all other concept solution fit when we select we should uh select about this agent or this help uh looking for a better looking for a better how to move the product or raw material And how the solution piece is necessary to assess the capability of the logistic operator to adapt to your logic needs and efficient response to increase the activities in case to sustain the business growth. And the other is technology and through those the logistic op operator who make up of the technology and the automatic security process. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Anna. I understood what you said. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. Hey, but I'm understanding one thing. Uh, solution, um, it's two separate things, right? Industry feed and solution feed. So industry is the line of business, right? Industry feed. So I cannot hire a logistics operator of fish, right? If my business is wood, if my business is wood, I shouldn't hire someone with a freezer container, right? With the, um, what's the name, Irwin? Super King, what? 
That was pretty good today. Hey, when? I am here. What's Thermo the name King. of the truck? Thermo King. Okay. I can Thermo King, yeah. Mom, I'm sorry, I always forget, and you know it. You know it, Thermo King. So I shouldn't hire a Thermo King logistics operator if my business is wood. Right? That has to do with industry feed, right? Am I right? Yeah. Industry feed, uh huh. Yeah, always want to try and find a company that is uh, that has experience in your industry and a good track record in your industry. For example, you can choose an expert shoe company and your industry is milk. Mm, right, same thing. Yeah. Right. And what about solution feed? That's, that's what is not so clear. Uh, feed. Teacher, um, you want to make sure that you are talking to companies who really understand your requirement and are able to develop a really good solution to match your needs. Excellent, William. Hey, that was good. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, William. Thank you, Anna. That was amazing. Okay, let's go with the second group, information technology, costs, and resources. Information technology on this topic. Okay, second group, Irwin, Irene, Yuri, Rene, and Wendy. Okay, okay, I write, but uh, we will speak about the two items, the two topics about the company. For our, our guys, we think we have many, many ideas and we'll share that with them. First, for, for our company, we think that the companies must be competitive. And for to be a competitive, the technology information is so important because the information flow, this flow, it must be so fast in our company. For example, if you sell a one cell in the company, the warehouse, the personnel works in warehouse, how to know that the, the, the company sells that phone? All the information must be up to date, to date, okay? And many company can use the program like the ERP, ERP, okay? The ERP is a program by the SAP. For example, if you buy something in the supermarket, uh, the all information is in the culture and with the warehouse. And the, same, the three uh, topics, is cost and resource. This is cost resource is so it's so important because the all customers are uh, are always looking for better price, and for to be a better price, this is the reason that the most company maximize the resource, but which are, which resource has the company? For example, human technology and financial. For this one, the only company have to have a good price with the low cost. This is the idea of my own group. And you said it before, Erwin. Excellent, yes, excellent. Today. You said it before, Erwin, thank you. Uh, you mentioned in another class that, uh, Heidi said it as well, that the higher the cost of logistics, the higher the price for the for the final consumer. Yes, it's a it's a it's a good problem with the company. It's a, the chain. Company, it's a chain. chain. It's a chain. It's a supply chain. Supply chain. Supply chain. Supply chain. Supply chain. No, I mean everything that everything that touches your production, everything that is involved on the process of taking the product to the consumer increases your costs, right? So the cost and resources has to do a lot. Thank you. Anybody else wants to add something to Irwin's group? No? Okay. Wendy, Judy, Irene? Uh -huh. No, it was clear. 
Okay, yes. perfect, don't worry. Let's go with time. We go with the third group, Andres, Fernando, Jose, Jose Luis, uh, Jocelyn, and Suleyma. Okay. Uh, we our parties is referred to a cultural fit and pricing, pricing and cultural fit in this order. Uh, the pricing is related to uh, how the the company that you can you want to to hire. Uh, one wants to to get the payment for example the the the, the payment method method and you have to identify uh, how, how which which are the the variables and fixed costs and that is a, an an important an important factor to to decide or to to choose a a third party logistic company uh, in cultural fit and he the he talks talked about uh, the how how do how do you want to to that the company uh, how como decía, como podría ser la company, la company como debe ser la compañía how to how should the company B, what uh, image? What image the company projects? Yes, because the you you want to to hire a company and get familiar with 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 the company because every day you you uh, yeah. you are you will you will you will talk with the, with this the this people of the company the the relationship. Uh, must be must be strong, uh, good or solid, mm -hmm. strong, something like that. Solid, strong, strong. Yes, and that is a cultural fit. Mm, yes, teacher. As Fernando mentioned before, a uh, pricing that is the number five is the act of determining the values of product or service in our company. And the cultural fit, as the men mentioned before in the video, that is probably the most important because you need to identify with people you will work for a very long time in your company. And, and if something is bad, how can we change to improve the company and that the uh, experience, that the relationship uh, will be better and keep it strong? to continue working with awesome yes. awesome better you couldn't have said it better you couldn't have said it better tomorrow we're going to start the class talking about regrets remorse okay um remember the perfect models so if you want you can study about perfect models for tomorrow's class perfect <laughs> models to start the class okay and hey, great job, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, this was a good topic, actually. We will continue with that to finish unit three this week. Um, okay, let me do the attendance again. I'm staying with Irwin tonight. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, Irene... good night. Oh, good night. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present, good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, Josue, Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. 
Present the chair. Good night, everybody. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. And good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Mayorellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Enrique. Fernández. <laughs> Present teacher, good night. Good night. <laughs> Alexander de Sánchez Soto, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, good night. Good night, bye bye. Just remember, full come, okay, bye bye. Okay, so, Hi. Mr. Lagos. Hi, teacher, how are you? How are you, Mr. Lagos? Relax. <laughs> the world, relax. <laughs> awesome. Finally. Well, I do. I do, teacher. Why? How are you? Oh, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm happy, excited. I just need a welder. I just need a welder. What is a welder? What do you mean? A welder. You know what is a welder? No. Somebody who welds, welds iron. Welds? Yes. Wales, iron, steel. You know, it was funny. It was really funny because oh. the uh, I went to this place, right, to have the tires replaced. And this guy um, there in the shop, when he saw the vehicle from underneath the car, he told me, Oh, you sh you should you should throw this thing, you know. You should get rid of it. You should get rid of it. It is a seven You should get rid of it because it's broken. There you go. Get rid of. That's a phrasal verb. He told me you should get rid of this thing, you know. And I was like, no, I'm not getting rid of it because I, I love my car, you know. You know. Wow, he said that night. And it's because. But, but, but excuse me, please. Do you like your car? I love my car. Yeah. But do you don't want to go back off? To get rid of it. Uh -huh. I don't want to get, I don't want to get rid of it. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't. Yes. Uh, it's your love of something. You have to take what you want for many years. And did you feel so good after that? Yeah, yeah and, I will have fun. And the car is a good problem because the, you will spend a lot of money. But with your emotion is to be happy. Yeah. Okay? It's not okay to sell all of money. Yeah, and so I was. That. I was like, no, I'm not getting rid of my car. You know, I'm just going to repair it, whatever it takes, you know. It's your job. It's my hobby, right? It's your hobby. Yeah, it's your hobby. It's your hobby. Let, me, let, me, let me show you why this guy said, you should get rid of it. Look at this. Oops. This is yeah. there. Let me see. This is there. <laughs> what is it? Uh, no, this is the controller arm. The wheel, the wheel goes yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the controller yeah. arm. The controller arm, la tijera. Mm -hmm. oh, you have a good problem here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so this, wow. is the, this is the problem, you see? Yeah, I know, I know. And the wheel, problem, yes. here, here goes the wheel. Yeah, the, the yeah. wheel goes on this side, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. No, but it's, it's <laughs> not a big problem. Uh huh. No. So that's why the wheel, the wheel goes backwards. You know, when I'm driving, I'm like. Yeah. But now with the new wheel, there's no problems with the new wheels. So I, it doesn't make any noise. You know, it's fine. Now look at my repairs. 
this I, I made this repair. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that was me. With what? This is what? Silicona. I use silicone. Oops, it's a good one. <laughs> use it, never use silicone. What? So, so, so yeah, for the moment, because I know I have to replace, yeah. I have to replace some of the floor. Yes. The platina. How say platina? With, with, uh, no, you're trying to say with teeth. Teeth, teeth welding. Yeah, that, that, that's, and I have a, I have a, a student, I have a student who is well welding, but he doesn't have the equipment. It's a big problem. But anyways, I'll find something I'll, tomorrow. Teacher, teacher, but I will, I will tell something that is incredible. Maybe in the, that kind of car, the alienation is so easy. La alineación es bien fácil. Yeah? La alineación? Oh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. With what? With rope? But incredible, incredible that the, when you can uh, fix the escapes, mm -hmm. yeah, they can solve the this one. The exhaust, the exhaust. Yes. They yes. Can, you can solve what? The, the chassis. Wait, I'm not following you. Not the I'm not following you. Okay, okay. I will explain in Spanish. Easy. Ese chasis es tan fácil de reparar. No como los de ahora, que es muy mm. diferente. Es donde reparan escapes. Mm -hmm. Solamente los solvan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No es un sure. trabajo bueno. No, no, no. Función. Sí, pero yo sé que pronto, que el otro año, junio, yo sé que lo meto al taller a que lo hagan como cerdito así. Uh, it's a very expensive. No, it's Most like 12, 1200. It's like 1200. It's so expensive, teacher. It's so yeah. expensive. It's yeah. going to last forever. Well, it's good, but, uh, um, I love the car. Yeah, okay, it's correct. It's correct. If you love the car, it's correct. <laughs> no problem. It's like but your it's neighbor. It's like your yeah. neighbor. Your yeah, neighbor. Exactly. Your yeah, neighbor yeah. really has a problem. It's, 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 your friend, it's your friend. You love your friend. No, no, no. It's your neighbor. Yeah, your yeah. neighbor. Uh, he bought a. Um, what was it? He bought a Volkswagen too, and and the, la caja. You know the speeding box the shifter is broken it's not it's not repairable um to go to compañero ahí de la el centro comercial el de el de la tiendita de Volkswagen él compró un Volkswagen está pero que me contó oh. eso es de la nueva generación ya yeah. de la nueva generación le fue mal super mal la caja ahí sí that is sad. That is pero, really pero, sad. Pero esos carros de nueva generación no solamente el rodaje, todos tienen problemas. El problema es que la nueva generación no todos tienen la información. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. You can find it. See, sí, mira, I went there and they wanted to align the car, right? They put it on the on the lifter. They, they went on the lifter. And the guy on the computer was trying to find the model. He asked me, hey, what, what model is your car? What year is your car? I was like, it's a Golf from 1978. Okay. I'm sorry, it's done on the computer. I cannot align it. And I saw, right, the computer and I told him, hey, there, it says Caribe GT, Mexico, 1978. Or it could say Rabbit, Right, 1970, no, 1983, United States. And he was like, oh, yes, it's the same car. <laughs> so, if it's you don't know. The, the, the alignment, the, the, the alignment. The alignment is, is easy, so easy. Yeah. The problem is so easy because the focus, the focus, I don't know that, that you can, I don't remember, for pension, after English, 
the suspension. Okay. This one is bad, bad, no bad person that allowed the, the, the information, okay? Yeah. Information about it. But not uh, complicated, like, like a Nissan, Sentra. That, a lot that, of tables. Yeah, it's so easy. Only the problem is the, to find the, the, the parts. Fixing. The parts. It's only the one problem. Yeah, the spare uh, parts. But you can find it. But you can find it. The, ah. That kind of car, that, that kind of car uh, uh, is interesting. I love that. I love that. I love that. Hey, nice having you. Go have some rest. Okay, teacher. Take care. Good night, Irwin. Okay, thanks so good night.